Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Expert Mode playthrough. We are back and we have a pretty limited amount of time to do this thing because I am wanting to take down the dude today. The destroyer, my friends, that is who I want to try and take down today. And I'm hoping it will be exactly that, that I will take him down. There's of course his Expert Mode and if he hits me with his head... He will absolutely destroy me. Now, let's put a discount card on and let's go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. Zealous, pointy, broken, nasty. Come on. Unpleasant. Uh, what the hell? Why not? All right, Mythical Repeater, you go in there. Nasty again. It's very nice. All right, cool, guys. We have a Souls on Hackney Arrows and just as Arrows. And I'm hoping this will be enough to take down the dude. Oh, we are approaching halfway through the night, so we need to be quick about this. So we've got magic power potions. Those are going to be useful. Our true potions, yes. What else have we got? Swiftness, iron skin, absolute goddamn lootly. Night owl, and uh, might be just about it. All right, guys. <sighs> Wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. We're going to start off by trying this thing. So then, buff, destroyer. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Take him down with all your might, son. Yeah! Woohoo! Keep it going, man. Keep it going. People have already died. Lots of people already dying. Let's just be careful right now. And health. There we go. Let's see if we can't keep ourselves going. Oh! Gotta be careful about this. Come on! Maybe we should switch to Jester's arrows simply because they seem to do a good job of taking peeps down. Oh! Be careful now. Be careful. There'll be loads of peeps around here, folks. Come on. Come on. Need to take down all of these probes before they kill me. Because that's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, come on, man. Oh, there he is. Come on. And hearts. Oh, all these hearts. They're beautiful, beautiful hearts. Let's not get cocky, though, my friends. Let's keep it going. If we just keep going around in this sort of figure of eight dealio we've got going here, we might be able to do a reasonable job of staying alive. Uh, come on. We've really got to try and kill these probes, though. Come on. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There we go. The old flim flam. The old heartage right there. This is what I love about the Destroyer, man. I feel like the Destroyer might actually be the easiest boss of them all. Simply because... Oh, simply because he gives a decent amount of hearts back to you. And health. Oh! That could have been bad. 50k. Alright, man, come on. What we need him to do is come up, like, vertically, like so. If we could do that, that'd be amazing. There we go. There we go. Come on. I feel like we could do this, man. I, I honestly feel like we might be able to do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here he goes. Here he goes. Come on. He's still going. Still going strong. Alright, we're running out of just as hours at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this heart's all over the place. Good stuff. Oh, I'm loving these regenerative hearts, man. This is good stuff right here. There we go. All the damage. Oh, God. Can't believe it, man. We might actually be able to take down for the first time, and the first time, in single player expert mode, the destroy, my friends. This is going to be freaking sweet. Oh, there he goes. Come on, man. I have no idea, man. There's all these hearts around, which is absolutely brilliant. We probably won't even need ourselves a thing going right now. He's got 20k health. Let's put some of these down again. There we go. Got some more damage going up in here. Hey. Here we go, man. Can't believe we're stuck to using plumbing regular... Unholy arrows. Oh, there he goes. Hey, come on, man. We can do this. We can do this. I've got faith. I've got faith. He's got 6k health. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And health. There we go. Oh, he's done. <laughs> we did it, folks. Hey. We blooming more did it. First go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there he is, buddy. Oh, man. If that, uh, if that star fell on the destroyer, that would be pretty funny. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Got to some great healing potions, a bunch of arrows, and all kinds of awesome stuff. Yeah. Dude, I'm feeling good about myself right now. And we're only four minutes into the episode. Oh my god, I thought that was going to take a lot longer. Hmm. Well, and now we have to find something to do for the rest of the episode. Oh dear. <laughs> I was not expecting to take him down that quickly. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, man. But, what this means is that we can take down the destroyer. We can actually do it, and we can do it well as well. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, so, let's open this sucker in 3, 2, 1, boom! Alright, 
Uh, soul of Might. Oh, loads of things, man. 38 Souls of Might. We've got Hallowed Bars, of course. We've got a Mechanical we Wagon Piece. I almost said Wegan Piece, but that's not entirely correct, is it? Let's be honest. Alright, now then. We are back up to over a Platinum Coin. Hey. <laughs> you see? Things looking good. Uh, except now most of... Oh, no. No, it's not most of them. All of my NPCs are actually dead. Which is fantastic, man. I've always wanted to have all of my NPCs be dead. I mean, that's absolutely fantastic right there, isn't it? Let's be honest. All right, Hallowed Repeater. That does out of 44 damage. This is a nice upgrade up to 50. We've got Hallowed Armor. Ooh, we could go for a Ranger setup, guys. How much bars is it? It's 12 plus 24, which is 36. Uh, we need 54 Hallowed Bars, guys. We only have 25. That's not a great deal, is it? Let's be honest. Hmm. I feel like we might need to take down the uh, the destroyer again, probably on the next night. Yes, I feel like that might be a good idea, folks. All right, I think we're going to make ourselves the Hallowed Repeater. Let's go and do that. We need to reforge it at some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, aside from that, we just gotta we just gotta play the waiting game. We gotta think of something to do in the meantime, man. What the hell do we do in the meantime? I mean, our wizard and our blooming mechanic are still here, so that's absolutely fine and dandy. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi, I'm gonna murk all of you peeps. I'm sorry. That's how it works. That's how the world works. We've got 10 seconds until we find out if we have a first solo eclipse or not. Because it can happen after you've actually defeated your first mechanical boss. But you just won't have that many peeps. Uh, okay. Just the normal daytime in Terraria. I'm honestly trying to think of something to do because I honestly wasn't expecting that fight to only last like a few minutes. <laughs> Uh, Spelunker Potion, might it be time? Hold on, let's just quick stack a bunch of stuff. In fact, to be honest, what we're going to do... Ah, right, is the plan, is the plan. What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a couple more... Ah, oh, wait, no. I can't make a couple more summoners because I haven't got the stuff. So I need to, in fact, go ahead down to an underground corruption biome, which is dangerous enough in itself... Do some stuff down there, kill some peeps, get some souls, and then maybe I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of life fruit hunting in the jungle. Because they do spawn as soon as hard mode starts, just not in a very good number. So, yeah, it's about that time, my friends. It is about that time. Let's go down. Let's see if we can't do some things with the old underground corruption. Get some souls, get some resources, sort out our inventory, and then we'll probably take down the destroyer again for the second time on the next night, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully we get some more health as well, because that'd be cool. Ah, oh, freaking yeah! I'll tell you what, what would be kind of nice right now is if the uh, if the travelling merchant spawned in and he was selling a Gatligator. You know what I mean? That'd be freaking awesome, dudes. It really would be. Alright, here we go. Underground corruption. We need to kill all these peeps. Oh no, he died. What a shame. Ha! Okay, right. Now then. Where's the peeps? Dogs barking. Great. Okay. Oh, come on. I want to get some peeps. Come on. Kill all the peeps. Kill all the peeps. I want all the souls. We only need, I think it's two more souls. I've got two already back at base. Oh. Holy mother of God. Guys. Guys. Check it out, man. Check it freaking out. There's a, there's a, there's a corrupt mimic down there. I'm freaking doing it, man. We're actually doing it. Where's my yo-yo bag? Where's my yo-yo bag? For real, where's my yo-yo bag? Where's yo-yo bag, yo-yo bag, yo-yo bag? There it is. Got it. Got the merchant spawn back in. Right, here we go. Now I might actually be able to take down this fool. Whoa! Let's be careful. Because, you know, he does a lot of damage and stuff. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. What the hell? He went, like, all the way. Oh, God. Careful. Oh, he's got five and a half K. Oh, uh, 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 God, come on, man. This is like a mini boss battle in itself, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, 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 all right, all right, all right. Let's have a bit of health right here. There we go. You see? Oh, uh, no, you're not doing that, son. You're not doing that. I, I feel like I'm going to wind up in that lava at some point. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, now there's plumbing corruptors and everything around here. This could get very hairy very quickly. We're going to solve the soul, though. Like, uh, nope. Just nope. Come on. He's going to get even more annoyed, isn't he, as we go along. He's down to 2,000 health. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. I've got faith in us. I've got faith. I've got faith in us. Let's see if we can't take him down. Come on. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Come on. Nah. -uh. I seem to be able to block him coming up. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, man. I seem to be able to just hold him here. Hey, man, I ain't going to complain about this crap. All right, here we go. So a bit of this. There we go. A bit of additional damage right here. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, he doesn't appear to be able to come up here. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to complain about that crap, man. All right. Oh, come on. One more little bit of damage and he's done. There we go. All right, what'd you give me? Uh, a worm hook. Of course it's a hook. You wouldn't get- you wouldn't ever dare give me something good, would you, too, are you? Man, what a jerk bag. Alright, okay, is this thing actually any good? This is a dual hook, obviously, so now we have a worm hook. I've never had a worm hook before. This is completely new to me. Ooh, so fancy. Oh, God. Leave me alone, son. All we need is two souls. We only need one more now at this point, so... Yeah, and all the NPCs are coming back, which is sweet. Alright. Give me a soul. There we go. That's all we need. Because I'm pretty sure we've got four back at base. Do, 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 do. There we go. We should be able to do this, man. Let's make ourselves another destroyer summoner. Boom. All right. Sweet. And now what we'll do is a bit of a jungle pillaging montage. Yes, that. Yes, quite. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's go on with it. And hopefully we can find some life roots. Alrighty, guys. Here we are back in action. Got one life out of that. I mean, I did say it'll be kind of rare that we'd find one, but, you know, we still managed to find one, so it's five increased health. It's very nice, so why not, man? Okay, so, we need to do a bit of the old potion action, don't we? Let's go in here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the magic power potions again. Iron skin, swiftness, you know, all these things work really well against the destroyer, in my opinion. Obviously, yeah, the Spelunker potion doesn't work too well. Uh, right, do we have a regular merchant? We've got the cloth here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, hey buddy. I'm going to buy a bunch of arrows off of you, and then I'm going to make them into Jester's arrows, because they worked really well against the Destroyer last time. So if we just grab these out of here, and go down to a work table, okay, we should be able to make ourselves Jester's arrows. Hey, there we go. 520 of them. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Alright, I'm going to put them in there. Okay, and then go down here, buy some more unholy arrows, you know, just as a, just in case kind of thing. Okay, uh, we should be good to go. Uh, let's just make sure this shoots out the correct kind of ammo. Yep. Alright. Alright, NPCs, prepare to die again. <laughs> I want to get me some cool things, friends. And buff. And get some of these little things going. And here we go. See if we can't get ourselves a bunch of uh, peeps killed. Alright, here we go. We need him to, like, come straight up. Oh, here we go. 109, 108. He has over 100,000 health, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, that's craziness. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Alright, if we manage to stay in our arena and stay around from our house, we might actually do reasonably well, you know what I mean? Alright, here we go. That'll do a bunch of damage, and if I get in the right position... There we go. You see, this is what I love about the Jester's Arrows. They actually infinitely pierce enemies. It's fantastic. It really is. All right. And obviously, we've got a bit of a... We've got a bit of a sort of advantage this time in that we have greater healing potions, so they're going to replenish our healing 50 health instead of just 100 like they were before. So, yeah, I mean, we should be able to get this thing done pretty damn easily, my friends. Pretty damn easily indeed. All right, let's see if we can't put some more up here. There we go. He's going. There we go. Come on, buddy. All the hearts, all the stars. This should be easy, man. We are absolutely destroying the destroyer. <laughs> How appropriate. Come on, man. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. Hey. Keep it going, man. 24, 23, 21. <laughs> man, the destroyer is still damn well. Oh, no. We need to get him back here, back here, back here, back here, buddy. Back here. There we go. All right. Cloud, cloud. And back to this thing. Oh, oh, that was close, wasn't it? Okay, 7k. 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Come on, man! Oh, and he's dead. There we go. <laughs> you honestly think you can take me down, sir? Do you honestly think you can take me down, sir? Nuh-uh. -uh. Nuh-uh. I'm badass. I'll take you down in an instant. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, nice. We've got a fast clock out of that. Oh, wait. If it's a full moon right now, we might be able to get a moon charm out of these guys. Do you know what? That might actually be a worthy thing to try and farm for because you can eventually... 
combine the moon charm with something, and eventually you can make like a celestial shell. There's a moon charm and something else. I think it's one of those, uh, oh, what's it called, Neptune shells? You get a Neptune shell, a moon charm, and then you combine that with a moonstone and sunstone, and you're going to have yourself a very good generic accessory, my friends. Alright, but apart from that, I think, uh, I think... I think we're going to do a bit of farming of the werewolves, okay? Because I would like to really try to get ourselves a good old-fashioned moon charm. So, yeah. I think we're going to continue on doing a little bit of farming, and then we'll go ahead and see what we get afterwards. Ooh, adhesive bandage. Can't say I was expecting that one, but okay, I'll take it. Oh, my God! Oh, the second to last plumbing uh, werewolf we kill and we actually managed to get the moon charm. Man! That is some serious luck right there. Holy crap. I am not even going to complain about that, my friends. Not going to complain about it at all. Because I am happy with that. <laughs> I couldn't be happier, in fact. All right. Uh, wow, we've got so much stuff we have now. It's ridiculous. All right, let's open up this, uh, this here bag. Boom. Uh, pretty much the same stuff as before, except we've got a little bit more in the way of hallowed bars. Do you know what? If we took down that second destroyer with our mithril repeater again, we would probably have enough now to make full hallowed armor. So, a bit regretful for doing that, but uh, it doesn't matter a great deal. I suppose we could take him down again. Uh, we have ourselves a lot of souls of might now as well, which is fantastic. I'm really, really happy, actually. We've not done too bad this episode. We've taken down two destroyers. We have got ourselves a moon charm. We've managed to get ourselves an adhesive bandage. All the stuff in the world, man. We're doing well. So, uh, oh, perfect. Dude. Okay, okay. The icing on the good luck cake will be if he sells the Gatligator. Okay? Come on. Big money. Boom. Ah, uh, not quite, man. Not quite. Uh, no enemies nearby. I don't have a radar, though, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that. There you go. Rare creatures. Thank you very much. That'll be useful. Stopwatch. How fast the player is moving. Uh, yeah, might as well buy that. Information and accessory. Boom. There we go. Katana. Eh, not entirely useful to our cause right now. Got a cape. Should we have a cape? I think it's about time we bought back the old cape, isn't it? Here we go. Ah, oh, freaking yeah. Oh, wow. This actually kind of suits our setup right now. Look at that. It's so fancy. We all red and yellow. <laughs> This is awesome, man. All right. So, final thing to do. Let's just quickly see if we can't tinker around with some accessories. Uh, oh, there, there, there it is. I was just going to say, what the hell is the, uh, what the, hell is the Tinkerer's Workshop? Ah, oh, dang it. I can't make anything out of it. Okay. No worries at all. I'll tell you what. I would really like to take down a pirate invasion again at some point, simply so I can try and get the lucky coin and therefore make the accessory you can make out of the sort of monetary-related accessories. So if I just go to the guide really quick, I can quickly show you what I'm on about. So if we just go here, chop that in there. Uh, oh. We don't even need the discount card. Oh, right. Okay, so the coin ring then. Ah, greedy ring. Ah, that's, a, that's pretty cool. So all we need to do is get a lucky coin. Hopefully, I'm really hoping at some point in the series we can get that. But for now, I think it's time to win the episode. We've had a nice episode. I apologize if it's been a shorter one than normal. But, you know, once you've done all the stuff you need to do, then there isn't really much else to do apart from start preparing for the next thing. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like right and it'll be much appreciated, my friends. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thank you very much for watching, my friends. Your support has been very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.